Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here in this video we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So we are going to solve the given differential equation that is second order linear differential equation using reduction of order method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x y double dash minus of 2x minus 1 into y dash plus x minus 1 into y equal to e power x. So we are given a differential equation with variable equations okay and also this is a second order differential equation okay given differential equation x y double dash minus of 2x minus 1 into y dash plus x minus 1 into y equal to e power x now we have to write the given differential equation to a differential equation of second order in standard form that is y double dash plus py dash plus qy equal to r. Okay. For that we have to make the coefficient of y double dash to unity. So we'll just multiply both sides of the equation with x or we'll divide the whole equation or both sides of the equation with x. Okay. If you can multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by x, this x can be removed. Okay. So, I'll just divide the whole equation by this x. Then we'll get y double dash minus 2x minus 1 by x into y dash plus x minus 1 by x into y equal to e power x by x. Then y double dash minus of 2x by x here you are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split the total fraction into two fractions we will get 2x by x minus 1 by x into y dash plus here also we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we will split this into two fractions we will get x by x minus 1 by x into y equal to e power x by x right so, x gets cancelled and we'll get y double dash minus of 2 minus 1 by x into y dash plus 1 minus 1 by x into y equal to e bar x by x. Consider as equation number 1. Okay. Now, compare this equation with the standard form of second order linear equation. We'll get p, q and r. Comparing 1 with y double dash plus py dash plus qy equal to r, we'll get p equal to minus of 2 minus 1 by x, q equal to 1 minus 1 by x and r equal to e power x by x. Then p equal to minus 2 plus 1 by x. Okay. Now we need to find suitable CF or I mean part of CF of equation 1. Okay. So for that we will first notice p and q. We are having p minus 2 plus 1 by x and q 1 minus 1 by x. Okay. So here we are having 1 by x and 1 by sorry minus 1 by x. Here we are having minus 2 and here we are having 1. So we can pick 1 plus p plus q which is equals to minus sorry 1 minus 2 plus 1 by x plus q is 1 minus 1 by x see plus 1 by x minus 1 by x gets cancelled from p and q and 1 plus 1 becomes 2 minus 2 plus 1 by x minus 1 by x right so here plus 2 minus 2 plus 1 by x minus 1 by x then stands in and we'll get 0. Right? We know that if 1 plus p plus q equal to 0 then y equal to e power x is the part of CF of solution of 1. Okay? Therefore, 
1 plus p plus q is equal to 0. So from this, we'll get y equal to e power x. This is a part of complementary solution of equation 1. Therefore, y equal to e power x is a part of CF of solution of 1 where e power x is our u. Okay. So where u equal to e power x. Right. So this, this is our u. Okay. We got u here. y equal to e power x is part of CF of 1 and u equal to e power x. Since we got u equal to e power x, then we can find du by dx also. If u equal to e power x, differentiate on both sides with respect to x, then we get d by dx of u equal to d by dx of e power x. From this we get du by dx equal to derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. So, if u equal to e power x, then du by dx equal to e power x. Okay. Let y equal to uv be the general solution of 1. Then See, we got from u and v, we are having u, right? I mean, we are having u, but we need to find v, right? So, we'll find v using equation. Then, v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Just place or substitute p, u, du by dx, r and u in this formula. Consider this formula as equation number 2. Then we will get small v. Okay, first we will get capital V and from this capital V we will find small v. Okay, this becomes d square v by dx square plus p minus of 2 minus 1 by x plus 2 by u u is e power x into du by dx is e power x into dv by dx equal to r by u okay then d square v by dx is square plus Minus 2 minus into minus plus 1 by x. Here e power x gets cancelled and you will get plus 2 into dv by dx equal to e power x by x into 1 by e power x. Right? So e power x gets cancelled and we will get 1 by x in the RHS. So here also minus 2 plus 2 gets cancelled and we will get d square v by dx square plus 1 by x into dv by dx equal to 1 by x. Let d small v by dx equal to capital V. Then d square small v by dx square equal to d capital V by dx. Then this equation becomes dv by dx plus 1 by x into capital V equal to 1 by x, which is a linear equation in V and x. Now just compare this equation with, consider it as some equation 3. Okay. We have reduced the given differential equation of second order to differential equation of first order. Okay. So, just compare this with 
the standard form of linear equation in dn x dv by dx plus p1 v equal to q1 v. Now we need to find capital V using the general solution of this formula. Okay, so for that we need to find if which is given by e power integral p1 dx. Okay, in order to find i of, first we will find integral p1 dx. So after finding i of, we'll go for the general solution of this equation, which is given by v into integrating factor equal to integral q into integrating factor into differential dx plus c1 constant. Okay, so let's now find p1 and q1. Now, compare equation 3 with equation, I mean the standard form of linear equation, we will get P1 equal to 1 by x and Q1 equal to 1 by x. Let's now find integral P1, 1 by x dx, right, which is equal to log x. Now, find integrating factor, which is given by e power integral p1 dx which is equal to e power log x since we know that e power log some function of x equals to function of x so we'll get e power log x equal to x now we are going to apply this formula to find capital v capital v into integrating factor is x equal to integral q1 1 by x into integrating factor x into dx plus c1, right? Then, dx equal to, here x gets cancelled and we will get integral 1 dx is integral dx plus c1, right? From this we will get vx equal to integral dx is x plus c1. So we have vx equal to x plus c1. Now take this x to RHS and we will get capital V equal to x plus c1 into 1 by x which is equal to x into 1 by x plus c1 into 1 by x. Here x gets cancelled and we will get 1 plus c1 into 1 by x. So we got capital V and we know that since capital V equals to dv by dx. So from this we will find small v. Now, take this differential dx to RHS, we'll get dv by, sorry, dv equal to 1 plus c1 by x into dx. This becomes d small v equal to 1 into dx dx plus c1 into 1 by x dx. Here the variables are separable, so we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to integral dx plus c1 integral 1 by x dx. From this we will get v equal to x plus c1 log x plus integral constant c2. Right? So finally we got small v. We are having small v and also u which is e power x. So we can write the general solution. Therefore, because we know that general solution is given by y equal to u into v. Right? Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to u into v. Where u equal to e power x into v is x plus c1 log x plus c2, right? Or you can write it as x e power x plus c1 e power x log x plus c2 into e power x. Okay? Therefore, y equal to x e power x plus c1 e power x log x plus c2 e power x is the required solution. 
So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equation with pair equations using reduction of order method. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.